Hi, this is Norm from Schaefer Chevrolet here with our 2014 Chevrolet Impala. Very beautiful vehicles. And I'm sure if you've done your research, you, you, you already know. But, uh, you know, rebuilt from the ground up. Bold, new, aggressive styling to them. Definitely come a long way from the older Impalas. Um, Impala started as, you know, as a muscle car, essentially. Like this really cool looking... You know, they're they're trying to trying to claw back some of that legacy, some of that um, you know classic car there with with a contemporary look. So it looks very nice. I love what they did with it. They have one of the highest jumps on Consumer Reports in the history of you know a lot of a lot of cars out there. They went from about, if I'm not mistaken, excuse me if I get this wrong, but. If I'm not mistaken, it went from about 64 to about 93 or 94 on Consumer Reports. So, and that's in one year's time, from 13 to 14, they made that jump. See, uh, see some of the Camaro in this car too. Uh, but if we take a look, quite a bit of space inside, which Impalas are known for. And then uh, you also have this really nice kind of kind of mix between like cloth leather type going on but you'll see over here we do have power everything windows mirrors power locks you have the power seat here of course and if you take a look back here you know a ton of space though like I was saying that I was actually coming back to this window sticker this one's the blu-ray metallic blu-ray metallic with the jet black interior 3.6 liter v6 of course only way to have it 22 overall though, 22 combined. That's 19 city, 29 highway. Great fuel economy. Even better vehicle score. You got five out of five overall vehicle score. Five out of five on some of them, four out of five on a couple, but the majority is five out of five. <coughs> well, more and more standard, I'm seeing they're doing the 60-40 split seat. So you open up just that much more cargo space and say laying something flat back there, you're gonna need that. You know, maybe like a table for graduation or something. But inside here, we have our electronic brake. So I just press that. Action required. Step on brake to release park brake. That's pretty easy. But right over here, you'll see the interior light settings, your trunk release, your park assist, forward collision alert, or excuse me, lane departure this is where you'll find your forward collision alert now over here you'll have your uh, blinkers you also have your exterior light settings we have our cruise controls right here like I was saying you do have the collision alert and that just changes you know how close or how far or off so your toggle there we have our voice commands you can do a lot with that you know you could uh, set a route you can dial your phone you can change this uh, radio station this is gonna be like an audio mute or a hang up button. Then you have your menu buttons here essentially. If you press over to the left, that pops open. You got different options. You can press info. That's where you're gonna see a majority of your information that you're gonna be after. Now taking a look up here, we do have universal home remote for your garage door opener. OnStar functions right up there in the mirror. Now you have right here, you'll find your dome light settings. Now on your inside, or excuse me, right here on your radio, you can do a lot of really cool things with your touch screen here, like I was saying. You can even, you know, for listening to it, you can pause it. You can play it. You can fast forward it. You got your voice commands button there. You can also, by pressing that, excuse me, let me press that again. By pressing that, slides right up, reveals a little cubby space back here, and we do have uh, right there, it's a USB port slide that right back down now going back to the home screen uh, you can see all these options not only can you touch everything but you can do everything with just this too you can see how it changes there but you have your CD player we have our climate controls which is dual climate for driver and passenger so if the passenger likes it a little colder and you can see all the changes up there as well as having them reflect actually in there but uh, so we'll, we'll turn this down 79 87 and now that it's set to auto what that auto is going to do is kind of regulate it like a 
your house temperature. You got a thermostat that'll regulate it. Looking over there, same thing. You can press sync, and it'll actually put it to the same temperature as what's going on here. Moving this out of the way, uh, you got a 12 volt charger, a little cubby space down there. And then uh, I also put it to reverse, so you can see this a little bit better, the plus and minus for the, the automatic manual shifting, but also so we can see the camera, the backup camera, I'm turning the wheel and it's actually changing which way the tracks are going. So that's really cool to see. I'll see, I'll see some cars out there that they have the backup camera with tracks, but the tracks don't move or anything, which kind of defeats the purpose in my mind. Uh, opening the center console, you can pop that out, take a look down there. A couple USB ports, 12 volt charger, auxiliary port, and an SD card slot. How neat is that? Once again, let's take a look in the trunk just real quick. Yeah, ton of space. It didn't get any smaller. Yeah, very spacious trunk. I mean, it feels very wide open. So you wouldn't even have any problems fitting anything in there initially. Uh, but very nice cars. Give me a call at 989-879-2211. Again, that number is 989-879-2211 or my personal cell phone, 989-313-6941. Call, text, email. Whatever works best for you, I'll be here to help. I hope you enjoyed my video. Hope it was informative for you, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks, and have a wonderful day. Norm from Schaefer's.